Hi, I am Dr. Campbell, the classroom racism exterminator. Today I'm just going to uh, briefly talk a little bit about the New York City mayor. And recently I found that the New York City mayor actually ran a TV ad that is superseding the needs of preschoolers. The New York Times reported that the New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio spent $950,000 of funds intended for preschoolers. You see, during his campaign for mayor, he promised to expand preschool programs in New York City. Much of the funding was provided through labor unions such as the American Federation of Teachers, 1199 SEIU, the Healthcare Workers Union, and Unite Here. A total of $1.8 million was raised and 50% of that money went to a television ad celebrating the New York City's mayor's victory in getting the money from the state. Once again, preschoolers become the victims. It seems that victimizing preschoolers is now a national pastime as evidenced by the behavior of the New York City mayor. For example, NBC News reported black children represent 18% of the children enrolled in preschool programs in schools, but almost half of the students were suspended more than once. And that's what they said in the report. 6% of the nation's districts with preschools reported suspending at least one preschool child more than once. The $950,000 spent on a TV ad celebrating the New York City mayor could have been allocated for reducing the perpetual tradition of classroom racism that continues to victimize black preschool children. Promoting positive racial relationships between teachers and students will eliminate classroom racism and black preschool children will no longer have to endure classroom racism.